welcome back to Laura's Topics. I am in a different room since this is a beauty question. I felt like it deserved to be in the beauty room. Um, before we get into it, the first thing I want to do is apologize for the fact that this video has been taking me so long to put up. Um, but I just had so many questions coming in and um, I really kind of wanted to get everyone's feedback before I filmed it so I could kind of get everybody's question out of the way. And now the second thing I want to say is that, first of all, I really, truly appreciate all the support on the idea for a new channel. But after much consideration, we decided to actually put everything on this channel. Since the name is Laura's Topics, um, we can put up a video for whatever it is. You know, it's kind of like a blank canvas. But I still want this channel to be about what you want to see. So what I want you to do is I want you to leave down below, I want you to leave all kinds of suggestions for videos you want to see. Some videos will be topics that I will be like asking you questions, you know, like Q&A, but some of them that you suggest are going to just be a video of me, I'll be making a video for whatever you want to see. So whether it's uh, skincare or whether it's how to use knives or whatever, it'll just be a video all on its own. And I want you to leave all of your kind of ideas for our new videos down below and it can be about anything it could be kitchen related it can be whatever you want to see because I want this channel to be about my audience I want you guys to have a say in the videos that I post and that way um, I'll be able to post much more often so I've gotten so many questions about my hair so I'm gonna sh go straight into it the first question comes from Miss Safia 98 says hi Laura I love your channel they're amazing my question is how do you cut your hair um, I go to a hairstylist. Actually, I just cut my hair like two weeks ago, and this is the shortest my hair has been in so long. Like, I don't know if you can see, but it is like really, really short. Normally, my hair is like down to here, but because of summer, I kind of wanted, I needed a new fresh cut, and it was feeling really heavy. And I just tell her to put long layers throughout. I don't know if you can see them, just long layers, and that's about it. And my bangs are really long. I like to keep them like like right at my chin, I don't like short bangs. I used to have short bangs, but I personally don't like the way it looks on my face, like, you know, how, the, how it frames my face. So I just tell her to the maximum length, like where I want it, and then I just tell her to put long layers throughout. Next question comes from Miss Chloe12. What's your favorite hairstyle and why? Um, I'm a real simple girl. I either like my hair in a bun or a ponytail or just like straight down or curly, but my favorite hairstyle is probably just a ponytail because you can really make it dressy by just giving a little volume at the crown or like right here and if you put like a little headband it can go from a regular ponytail to like going out and looking really cute and chic. So I gonna say ponytail is probably my favorite hairstyle. Crafty Creations 1 says do you have layers? If, if so do your layers stick out when you do your bun? I do have layers and it, they do stick out a little bit like not that much because my layers are long, but they do stick out around the edges, and later on I'll show you how to fix that, but basically lots of bobby pins is what I do to keep it tamed. HMHJP5GirlX says, Hi Laura, do you, how do you keep your hair so flat? Thanks. I straighten it and brush it. That's about it. PPCRN83 says, Laura, my question is, how much time do you need to put your hair up in a bun? I love to watch you cook, and you're the only cooking show I watch because you're the sweetest cook. Thank you, honey. Uh, it takes me like three minutes. You'll see. Juicy444 says, how often do you wash your hair? Once a week, twice a week, every day. I don't wash my hair every day unless I go to the beach, uh, which I don't go to the beach every day, but I normally wash my hair every other day to every two days. Um, I don't like to wash my hair that often because then I, can, I damage it, and you don't want to do that. Random Cat says, have you ever dyed your hair? Yes, I do dye my hair. My hair is naturally like a really light, light brown color. Um, I don't like the way it looks on my skin tone because I have very olive skin tone. I feel like it blends too much. And so I dye it black. I go to a hair salon and get it done. Just for fun, 991 says, how do you style your hair in the kitchen? Is it for comfort, for looks and beauty? Thanks, love your cooking. It's really for comfort. If you follow me a lot in the kitchen, you know that 99.9% .9 of the time my hair is up either in a ponytail or in a low bun or in a high bun. My hair is always up when I'm cooking it's for sanitary reasons. Um, I don't want my hair to be in front of my face because I don't want to have to touch it and then touch the food and I don't like that. So for Laura in the kitchen, my hair is all about comfort. 
XO Lin Lin says, do you curl your hair or straighten it? If so, what iron do you use? I do both. My hair has naturally got like a thick wave to it. I strained it today, and the strainer I use is called the Ultra Chi. It's by Chi. It's awesome. It's on right now. And this is like the, my favorite strainer in the world. Now, the color is limited edition. It was a limited edition for the holidays, and my husband got this for me for Christmas uh, because I love light blue. Uh, but this is a strainer I use. And the curling iron I use is by Hot Tools, and it's the Hot Tools Helix, and it's an inch and a half barrel, and I love this curling iron. I got it on sale at Marshall's for like $22, total score. So that's my favorite curling iron, and that's my favorite straightener. Lee Sack 1965 says, what I would like to know is how you keep your hair from falling once you have it pinned up. I too have very long, coarse hair, and have always had difficulty keeping my hair from falling out of style. Um... Lots of bobby pins, lots of hairspray. That's all I can say. My hair is naturally quite thick, so I have to like hairspray it down in order to keep it that way. Tisa Fairytale says, how can you make your hair look fuller and thicker? Also, would you recommend taking a vitamin like biotin or fish oil pills? Thank you. I do take biotin every day. Um, it helps my hair stay strong, my nails, my skin. My husband takes it. Um, I do think biotin helps. Personally, I just think don't use a lot of heat on your hair. Don't wash your hair every day, and that way it won't be damaged, and it'll just stay really nice, full, and healthy. Don't over-process your hair. That's my biggest tip. F-K-L-H-J-S-A-L-F-K-J-H says, I'd love to know your hair care routine and what products you use. So, I'm a huge, like, drugstore kind of girl when it comes to my hair products. Well, when it comes to a lot of things, really. Uh, my favorite... Uh, shampoos to use are anything from the Herbal Essences line. Right now I'm using the Herbal Essences Body Envy Shem uh, Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm almost out of it. I love all the, like, everything from Herbal Essences, like all their different lines. Um, I like the Hello Hydration one, which is the blue bottle. I really, really like that. And I also really like the Aussie Moist Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm out of the conditioner. I have a little bit of shampoo left. Uh, but I really do like this one as well. And for hair masks, I like the Aussie 3-Minute Miracle. I think that is such an awesome, awesome hair mask. I use these products. I've been using these products all the time. I know I should use products with sulfate, that's sulfate-free because I do color my hair. I don't like sulfate-free products. I have tried all kinds of high-end products. I just don't like it. They feel like they don't clean my hair. I don't like that. Uh, so what I do is I wash my hair. Doo -doo 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 condition it, you know, do the whole bit. Then when I come out, I put in my turban twist or just wrap it in a towel until, like for about a half hour, I don't like to have my hair like super wet when I go ahead and style it. And then I put in either this um, Catwalk TIGI Fashionista, Fashionista Smooth and Shine. Um, this is a little bit expensive, so I don't use it that often. To be honest with you, I have a product that I like better which is the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Anti-Freeze Serum. So I'll take a little bit of this and run it through like from this part of my hair down, never at the roots because I don't want my roots to be oily. I just run it down and kind of a little, like a pea sized amount will do the job. And then I brush my hair and then I go ahead and blow dry it. Um, if I am blow drying my hair, I wash my hair at night. If I'm blow drying my hair, I blow dry only one until it's like halfway dry because if I plan on using like a flat iron or a curling iron the next day, um, I don't want to damage my hair too much by putting too much heat, uh, product on it, you know, heat product. But I do suggest that you always use a heat tamer spray. And my favorite one is by Tresemme, is a Thermo Creation heat tamer spray. I think it's like four bucks. It is so awesome. Love the smell. I think it's fabulous. So if I'm using a heat product, I spray a little bit of this in here. But I get out of the shower, put this in, brush it out, blow dry it. And then the next day, if I'm styling it, whether I'm straightening or whatever it might be, I put nothing in it until I'm done straightening it. And then I put some of this uh, Bedhead TIGI After Party. I take just a little bit of it. You don't need a whole lot because it is expensive. I take a little bit of it and I work this like, like on the very top of my head, like on my scalp to get rid of any like frizzy. And then for the bottom of my hair, I love to spray it a little bit with this Garnier Fructi style Brilliant Shine Glossing Spray. This stuff is so awesome. It makes my hair really shiny, but a little goes a long way. So that's, 
you know, great for me because I don't have to use a whole lot of it. So those are really my go-tos. Um, when I'm doing my hair in a high bun, I do need to use a gel to like keep my baby hairs intact. So I use the Aussie Instant Freeze Sculpting Gel. I've had this thing for like two years and look how little I've used of it because I don't need a whole lot. And my favorite like thing to use on my hair just to make it look like it's polished and done, uh, you gotta use some hairspray. My favorite hairspray of all time is a L'Oreal El Net. For years, I had a hate, like, love hair relationship with it because I love, love, like, what it does. Hated the smell. The scent of this was awful. Up until recently, when I had discovered that they make a kind that it's unscented. I'm in heaven. Now, this is a bit pricey. I think it's like $13 or $14. But a hairspray that I love just as much is a Tresemme Extra Firm Control hairspray. This is awesome. I'm, most, I'm almost out of it. So this is a great one that if you don't want to spend the $14 on the LNET, then I would suggest using this one. So those are my like go-to, go-to products. Angie1290 says, is there a certain hairdo or hair length your husband likes the most? Thanks for answering. I love both of your channels. Um, you're great. Thank you. My, I think, well, I'm pretty sure my husband likes this length best. He doesn't like my hair when it's too, too long because when I straighten it, he feels like it drags my face down a little bit. As far as hairstyle, I don't really know. I think he likes my hair any kind of way. I was, I'm going to say that he likes when my hair is in a middle bun, but not too, like, too tight. We went to, um, this past weekend, we went out to, like, the beach hangout at night, and I came out of the shower, and I didn't want to blow dry my hair or anything, so I just put it in a bun, like in this middle bun, and it was not a big bun, it was just a small bun, and my hair was wet, and it was a little bit loose at the top, and he said he loved my hair that way. So I think like a low or middle bun are his favorite ways for me to wear my hair. Fit Ange says, hi Laura, I think this is a wonderful topic about your hair. Do you do all the hairstyles yourself, or do you have a hairstyle that's preppy for your shows? If you do it yourself, where did you learn how to do your variation, various hairstyles? Um, I, most of the time, like 98% of the time, I do it all myself, unless I'm filming for a specific like, um, project. Uh, but most of the time, for Lauren in the kitchen, I do all of my own hair and makeup. Oh, she also asked, where did you learn how to do it? I can't tell you. I, I have no idea. I just play around until something works. <laughs> That's pretty much what happens. If I look okay walking out of the house, I'm good. So, pretty much it. Not Flawless said, top hair products, the, uh, what you would use the most. Pretty much everything I already mentioned, but I would have to say that if I could only like travel with one product, it would have to be hairspray, of course shampoo and conditioner. Uh, but hairspray because I can use it like as a gel to like really hold things in, and I also like have to use it to hold everything down if I'm doing a high bun or whatever I'm working on. So my Elnet hairspray goes with me everywhere I go. I have a travel size one. Well, I have like four because um, I can't I can't I can't go anywhere without them. Non Mentral says, love the idea. My question is, do you dye your hair or is it naturally dark? I do dye my hair. I don't do it myself. My hair, like I said, is like a light brown color. So I go to a stylist and she knows the color I like. I don't even know what it is. Uh, but she knows exactly what to do. Okay, last question. Let's see if anyone can guess what this is. Nick J 13 lover said, I was waiting for this topic to come along. I really love the many ways you do your hair. Uh, I was wondering if you could show us how you do your big bun and some of your ways to style your bangs. Okay, I think I saved the best for last. Um, for my bangs, I either, and this is so silly because this is not a hairstyle, I either take my straightener and I do it in that way, or I never really do it that way. I just take it and flip it out. And that's how I do my bangs. Unless I'm like curling it, um, which is, you know, I take my curling iron and I just flip, you know, not in my face, but out. But I don't really do anything with my bangs. That's, that's as much as I do. I have no patience. All right, so now it's time for the big bun. Now the tools for this are gonna be a sock bun or you can buy, this is just a sock that I rolled and rolled and rolled. You can learn how to make it. There's like thousands of videos on YouTube on how to make this, but these is all, those are also, um, these are also sold at beauty supply stores called like hair donuts or hair buns or something. 
but that's all that this is. And then I take my brush, which by the way, I've had this for like 10 years, I don't even know what it is. My teasing comb, and a couple of hair ties. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hair in a high ponytail. Sorry if I'm not looking at you, I'm looking in the mirror. Make sure I do this right. And as you put your hair up, you wanna make sure you're smoothing everything, because you want everything to be nice and smooth. Don't worry about all the little flies, flyaways, we'll fix that. Make sure you get this under here nice and smooth. Okay. You can position it however high you want it. I like mine, rep, mm, about here is perfect. Let's see if I could duck down, you can see me better. You wanna make sure your ponytail is really tight. Like that. Don't worry about all this because we can fix that. So if your hair is straight, it doesn't have a lot of body, I just take a few sections and I just tease, tease a little bit just to make sure that it's got enough body to cover the bun. There you go. Doesn't that look like gorgeous glamour right there? So you take your hair bun or your sock bun, loop that through. Make sure when you position it, you position it so that it's not crooked. That's good. And then you want to cover this with your ponytail. And I just brush it to make sure everything is nice and neat. And you want to make sure that it's your ponytail, like your hair is covering the bun, which I can feel that all my hair is wrapped around it. Take another ponytail holder. And now I just pull it here, pull it there. That looks good. And then take the rest of the hair, loop it around. And then I just use tons of bobby pins. I know it looks a mess right now, but we will fix it. Take tons of bobby pins and hold it in place. Now, sometimes what I do, instead of doing all the bobby pins, I take a clip and I just clip that right there. And then just go ahead and take care of all these little ones you've got going on right here. Just pin them down. I'm telling you, all this is is tons of of bobby pins and here's five. Just move things where you want them really. Like I don't like this thing going on right now. So I just pin it. And then sometimes I take these like hair pins and then I poke it through. That is not my friend right now, so we get rid of that. Like that. I'm telling you, this is so like not glamorous. This is just what I do when I have no time. And now to kind of fix things along, we're not done yet, but I need some gel. Like that needs to be pinned again. Pin this back here. One more body pin for good luck. If you want to cover that up a little bit more, you can, but I don't really care to. And then, to make sure everything is like in place, just you spray, 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 spray. That's it. That is like the gorgeous big bun everybody wants to see. And it's like embarrassing because I don't, there's no like real way to go about it. I just stick it up there and then just put bobby pins every which way to hold it together and then spray it and then I'm done. And I, it stays like this all day. Like it doesn't move, it doesn't go anywhere. Um, so that's that's about it. I hope that that's answered like everyone's questions because a lot of the questions were very like pretty much the same. So I try to choose um, what I thought was a good variety that answered pretty much everything everybody wanted to know. So yeah, this is it. This is like the answer to what everyone's been wanting to see. 
I hope that you guys find this video helpful and please, 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 please leave all your suggestions for upcoming videos down below. That way I can start filming them and uploading much more often. Uh, but don't worry, Laura in the Kitchen is going to be, isn't going anywhere. So you can have that to look forward to. And then you have this channel to look forward to, but this channel is all about you, what you want to see. So leave them all down below and I'll just, I'll be back very, very shortly. And um, we'll see what video you guys want to see. And you're going to get a shout out, by the way. Whoever suggests the video will get a shout out in the video. Um, so that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.